What's going on everyone? So we actually received a request from one of the viewers about crafting equipment. So first, the types of rod and reels you can create and how to get more materials. One of the instances where you would encounter a fish that requires you to deal mythic damage is during the one versus one. As you can see, during one versus one, you will encounter a mythic fish every once in a while. And when that occurs, you will have to ensure that you have the crafted rod and reel that deals mythic damage, as you can see right below. Here is an example of the reel as well. Here is an example of whenever you're trying to catch a mythic fish in the one versus one map. As you can see, the fish has a lot more health, so it takes a lot longer to actually catch the fish. This is where your ability to really inflict critical damage comes into play. On the other hand, this is what it looks like whenever you're trying to catch a king of fish using the mythic rod and reel. As you can see, it's very similar to catching a wild fish, but you're going to need a higher level accuracy as well as your personal HP to increase the duration in which you are able to battle the king of fish and to inflict as much damage that you possibly can. To obtain the mythic reel, you're going to go into the main menu and select craft. As you can see there is both a fishing rod and a reel that is able to deal mythic damage. Each one will give you the option to choose either a damage type, defense type, or a technique type. The skills will be the same for both the rod and reel. The only difference is whenever you choose a different type. For example, the damaged fishing rod will have the same attribute or skill as the damage type reel, which is both adding fixed damage. If you choose to go the damage route, you will obtain mostly fixed damage, increased accuracy, higher critical power, yanking skills, and your power skill would be increased as well. Defense types will allow your power gauge to fill up faster, your HP would increase, as well as your max line and fish defense. For techniques, your fish can either jump even more or you can even calm the fish. You will also receive HP to protection and the time that a fish spends being dunned will increase. All materials required will be the same no matter which type you choose. When building your first mythic rod or reel, the first mythic rod and reel is known as the beginner fishing rod. This fishing rod will have no attributes. When you select the rod, you will see the materials required, which are going to be the fiber, leather, as well as the wood. To obtain these materials, you have to utilize the requests from the main screen and send out your researchers. First, you'll select a researcher in which you would like to send out. By requesting, you can see the different places they can go, as well as the materials that you can receive for crafting. Although you're not guaranteed to receive these materials, you want to ensure that every researcher you can possibly have is unlocked. Although my researcher can fish at the Amazon River, I'm going to send them to the Marina Trench because that's where they have an S class and they're able to, to obtain two to four of the materials. Once the time runs out and your researcher is able to come back, you would be able to see what items they brought back for you. Although it can take a very long time to get the actual materials you need to build the beginner rod. Ace fishing does have a lot of events where there's an special event fish and you would use a lure to catch that fish. Most recently we had the maple fish that would show up and you would use the maple lures to catch the event fish and with every event fish you were able to catch you would have the chance of gaining the crafting materials. Another previous event was the leaf fish where once again you would purchase the specific lures for the fish and then try to catch them during the event. Catching these event fish is going to be the fastest way to get the materials. So really the secret to obtaining more of these basic materials to create your first mythic rod and reel is going to be through those events. Another thing that you'll need is going to be the combination tickets where they are attained through the treasure chest, guild shop, diamond box, and coral box. Another item you would need is going to be the combination ticket which is acquired through the golden box, guild shop, diamond box, and the coral box. Your best bet is going to be through the golden box. When it comes to the guild shop, it must be level 7 in order for you to get the combination ticket, which is only a limited purchase each week. As you fish throughout the game, you will notice the chance to obtain keys for the golden box. You will get this through catching regular fish, or whenever Ashley's shop shows up, you can purchase a key for 35 cash. Similar events will also occur for the pearl treasure box where your chance to get black pearls are increased. Once you're able to build your first beginner rod, you will then have the opportunity to choose to evolve that rod to either a damage type, 
defense type, or technique type. After you build your first beginner rod or reel, when it comes to building the second one, your previous rod or reel will then be used and you'll have to combine materials in order to create the required end items. For example, in order to create more trimmed rubber, I would need not only the regular rubber that was used to build the level 1 rod and reel, but I would also need soap which is created using salt and vegetable oil. These materials are gained through regular fishing, so as you play the game and progress more, you will obtain these materials, and in order for me to create more soap, I would have to combine these materials and then use 10 combination tickets, and that will give me one soap. If I needed to make two soap, I would then need 20 combinations as well as the required materials. As you can see, with the three trimmed rubbers that I would need, a total of 573 rubber and 6 soap, as well as 42 combination tickets. The same thing goes to create the red jewel and the mass of brass. As you can see, it can take a very long time to finally get enough combination tickets to finally get the 2 star rod and reel that can inflict mythic damage. That's all we have for creating your first mythic rod and reel. In another video, we will talk about the different skills that are offered in the higher tier rod and reels to include what you can do in order to decrease the amount of time required to create the next tier item. I hope you all enjoyed this video and I'll see you all next time. And don't forget to leave a thumbs up so I can keep these videos coming.